Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and today we're starting a series on LEGO Indiana Jones, the original series. Let's take one moment to look at the settings and how we've set it up, and then we'll jump in. So I'm running this at 1080p, as I always try to do. And then you have the enhanced graphics. Now, best I can figure, enhanced graphics are is kind of a variable resolution in some scenes. So some scenes actually won't be at 1080 uh, but it seems to also be this mix of some other effects that are good, while well, some effects you might consider bad. Having only one option and the default being on, I will start with it on. Uh, the separate things you can adjust are, I will have edge anti-aliasing on, that's the only thing that you can have. It's not a 2XAA or 4XAA or anything newer than that shadows on bloom on depth of field on sometimes you can't even have edge a a on if you have advanced graphics which i mean enhanced graphics uh so it, it's weird it's weird that they just don't really explain what that is audio will be at five that's still pretty loud and then this coming soon is a trailer for lego batman so this game obviously came before the first Lego Batman. There's been three Lego Batmans. So, it's not going to look super great, but it, but even Lego Star Wars, the first Lego game they made, looks fine, really. It, it may be a little less than modern graphics as far as smoothness and frame rate, but... On the other hand, all the new LEGO games, or at least a significant portion of them, I'm talking LEGO, The Lord of the Rings, LEGO The Hobbit, uh, there's been LEGO Harry Potter, years 1 through 4, and LEGO uh, uh, Harry Potter 5 through 7. At least those four LEGO games that ha are pretty new have been terrible PC ports. And because of that, they have locked up just in engine nonstop and made a completely unacceptable uh, experience in those games. I'm hoping, and we have a good chance here, that that won't be the case uh, for LEGO Indiana Jones. But it just did lock up playing this video. Hmm. Why? Why is the video locking up? That's a good question. I mean, all this is doing is playing a video. And it's not even a good resolution video. Hmm. And there's really nothing else going on on my computer other than the fact that I'm recording. And I've recorded hundreds of other games and it's never been an issue. Hmm. And yet the video is locking up. Uh, you can see by the graphics here, uh, it's, it almost sounds like the audio might be locking it up. Or, uh, the graphics don't look terrible, but they, they do kind of seem a little less resolution-wise good. Uh, just a little bit more pixelated, a little bit maybe darker with less shininess that the new lego games have uh they they lego themselves at one point uh was going out of business and they redid their pieces to be shinier and the video games kind of followed suit uh, after a while not at the same times but in the same idea they made made them made everything a little bit glossy there you can see on the back of their uh of his shirt it was a little glossy but it's even glossier in the new ones so let's hope that that lagginess was simply from watching the video and we won't have to see any video like that before i mean here you can see this looks better than what that trailer even looked like this looks a lot better If you haven't seen the original Indiana Jones games, what are you doing with your life? They are certainly out there. Now, the one thing I 
do believe is hmm. I don't think Lego Indiana Jones 4, The Crystal Skull, is in either the original series or the Lego Indiana Jones 2 sequel to this. Uh, I just don't think the Crystal Skull was out at that time. But it, that's almost a blessing in disguise because the Crystal Skull was a pretty bad movie. And it wouldn't have really been that fun to play as a, as a video game. It'd be hard to even decide what levels to add here. So we're starting here with, I believe, if, I'm, let me think, here. Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark is, I believe, what we're playing now, the first movie. Because it goes Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then it goes uh, Temple of Doom, and then it goes The Last Crusade. Hmm. And we have a typical start here, a lot of... Uh, a lot of tutorializing going on here and the the old-fashioned possibly at this point hmm how do you climb up this you just have to be careful about it I guess uh, old-fashioned play th play through elements of uh, of Lego games uh, we you saw I found a golden piece chest and the golden parts chest piece chest I concept eventually got changed into other things or in some games even seemed like they they got defocused I know that the Lego movie video game in particular was one that uh, that was done very cheaply very very cheaply and just uh, kind of shoved out there missing a lot of the features you'd expect hmm. uh, you can tell this is one of the earliest Lego games because they are really tutorializing here when I stand on this it will hit me with poison things now, when I hit it, though, it will give me coins that are falling through the ground and I'm not actually collecting here. Let's see what happens when we do this. Nope. We're not collecting them. That seems strange. To, I, I assume, I guess, that's so you can't just sit there and grind for coins like you would need to in a Lego game. Uh, this m very well may have been the right after Lego Star Wars, uh, the original Lego Star Wars and Lego Star Wars 2, which were then compi comp compiled into Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. I wouldn't be surprised if there's nothing, nothing else beyond it. You can see I'm falling a lot and dying a lot here. Uh, there's a lot of places to fall, and that, that's a kind of a weird element in itself. See, a more modern LEGO game would have had us do some kind of mini-game, or at least have a pile of pieces that we dug up to build the bridge. Instead, it, we just picked up a rolled-up bridge and put it down. And then I'm having trouble moving forward. Is it indie? Hmm. What's going on? What is going on here? Wow. So, a clear bug there. Just the game would not let me walk forward. So when we hit this, again they spit out coins. 
Seems kind of... See, but that guy still can't... Can't make it. There's something... It must have... It must have actually lowered the floor in such a way that the feet got stuck. In the geometry. Hmm. Here we're, we're having one of these levels that we saw a lot of this in Lego the Hobbit where there was no bad guys to really fight. Uh, so instead we're having a lot of booby traps and just a few spiders. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones introduces the uh, a system of phobias into it. So we know Indiana Jones hates snakes. Uh, so, therefore, if snakes show up, uh, the uh, Indiana Jones will cower in fear automatically and there's just nothing you can do with Indy while he's around snakes. And then, spiders will be the same for, I believe, the, uh, a couple of the girls in the story. Uh, leading ladies might be a better way to describe them. And there are rats that appear on a few occasions. So I dug up three golden monkey heads and that got me another golden piece. So ideally if I was just trying to make tutorials on how to collect everything, I would, wouldn't do any of these things yet. I would save them for later, but and he's stuck again. Alright, can you make no There we go, finally. That is weird. I don't recall that being a problem when I last played this game, but also when I last played this game was like years and years ago. So. Hmm. But we're, we're clearly having an issue. And I wonder if this might be because of the 1080p resolution in, that we set it up to. I wonder if it actually is just completely unadvisable to change it from the default resolution of something like a 20 uh, a something like a 720 resolution when I've played this originally I played this on Xbox 360 and and it's it's pretty much already you can take it as a guarantee you should probably play these games on a console maybe you could get backwards compatibility on the lego games to an xbox one or a playstation 4 uh, otherwise uh, it would be not really difficult at all to to get a used xbox 360 and buy used copies of these games and have a much better experience where it doesn't lock up like it is now. Hmm. It just seems so strange now. This this is really messing with my head. Because I thought it would have been the bad PC ports of the newer versions. And that was almost understandable. But if this game is going to lock up too, then why did the very first Lego Star Wars game not lock up? Uh, at the end of the day, it is probably just care and nothing else. Like, did they care enough about the Star Wars franchise and not care about any of the other franchises? Here you can see the levers don't even have handholds on them, uh, which is pretty rough Lego design for a lever. Uh, but it doesn't make the most of amount of sense that they wouldn't care about the Indiana Jones series 
if anything, I'd say Star Wars and Indiana Jones are, if not on equal footing as far as franchises, at, or at least at the time they were, I would, I would at, at least say that they were, uh, that they were, uh, close to equal footing. Those little Lego alligators. Hmm. And so here we've got giant spiders to fight. And we've almost filled our true adventure bar. Hmm. So these silver spears are, are... I don't think you can pick them up. Oh yeah, you can. Interesting. So you could have taken them with you. Now the the level we're playing is actually a great example of how the Lego games expand on the movie because this whole section we're playing is barely a couple minutes in the the movie. Uh, you walk through a jungle and then you get to the the location the temple the cave whatever it is and you see a couple of traps and that's it hmm hmm oh you have to come up here and swing that's what this is all about all right, and so we gotta put that there and then stand here and allow him to cross and then stand here and allow him to cross nice little puzzle and then he goes over there hmm does it lock up when see two activities I just did to cause it to lock up there well three activities I'm recording I walked off screen while a character was doing something and I walked and see this activity now I just walked and it really if the game is just locking up when you're literally walking one screen like it seems like just terrible programming like something about it calculating height or whether your feet are going through the floor hmm. I've had a pretty bad run of badly optimized games but the Lego series in particular being such a large series actually gives themselves and TT games and WB games a bad name now WB games in general seem like they don't really care about quality at all if you only have to look as far as Lego uh, not Lego but Arkham Knight to find to know that like that game didn't run well for half of the players so I've got to swing this it does have a swing mechanic, but you can notice it's a pretty rigid swing mechanic. Instead of acting like a vine that would uh, kind of curve or burn, uh, bundle up, it is just this straight stick. Uh, you, you can even see in the bottom half of where you're climbing, there's uh, like there's a lot of swing in the vine and it looks like a moderately well programmed vine but the top half just has nothing uh, is nothing but rigid hmm. and see I'm not sure we're even doing level 1-1 one, one. we may actually be doing a prologue So the the right move was to jump onto these and not take damage. 
but it it's not letting me jump either. Like when I'm standing on this, I am not jumping. It is just like there's an invisible ceiling. Hmm. So they just wanted me to take take the pain, I guess. Hmm. I probably won't fill in the true adventure meter, but just because I'm dying a lot. Let's see if we wanted to throw these. You have to wait till you have a blue meter and then hit X. And hope there's nobody in the way. There you go. Hmm. Now this is kind of true to the movie, and it's kind of a problem of video games in general is you can't just add characters that weren't in scenes. We need the key to op operate the device, it's right there, so they're, they're simplifying things that we'll probably have to do more of later. Let's see what's down here. Shiny silver Lego objects can't be collected. This area looks completely different than what it looked like in the movie. They've made it look nicer and added video game elements to it. But here he gets the skull. We never really. Uh, really learn anything more about this statue or skull and if they were gonna make an Indiana Jones 4 good that bringing back an item like that and saying oh yeah this thing you saw at the beginning three movies ago uh, or what was actually an important item after all so we've got to now run without falling or just fall Right. You can't go the way you came. So the the easiest solution here is just to actually wait on this. And then there we go. Oddly this level really seems like it wants you to stay on the ground. And that's something that they learned in later LEGO games, I suppose, not to encourage. So here we have the, the head chasing after us, and we can just get out of the way. Uh, but that's not the giant boulder chasing after us. Here we have a Kali thuggy characters are needed to deal with that. Let's see if I go any further down. It brings up the bridge, and then we've got to wait for a head to come down and roll and break the wall. And so I want to come down here, but there's a bunch of spikes down there. So there must be a secret passageway for small characters. And here we go with the giant Lego ball. Making a ball out of Lego isn't the easiest thing in the world, it, and I m messed up so it reset me, which is kind of nice, but also kind of sucky if you're an actual kid, because there's some level sections here that seem a little bit difficult, and this is far from... Far from a simplistic thing here. Obviously, I can't hit all of these uh, elements. And we make it out, and we see the cutscene. I could definitely see a kid taking multiple attempts on that. Hmm. And there's a Lego Star Wars reference. 
This is the old Star Lego games where the characters don't talk. Uh, you may have noticed. And just make sounds. Uh, I think in, in a, a lot of the games, they cheated by adding the characters talking and then you stealing just the audio from the movies uh, that certainly was the case in uh, let's see are we in a level now no we aren't we're we're kind of just in no we still are all right so if i could maybe get this guy's eyeballs straight i would be able to get in there I imagine we got true adventure hmm. yeah th the the problem I think mostly is when they stole audio or just copied not stole really it's all the same company they had a permission but they when they copied audio uh, from the from the movies then they did not have any audio for anything uh, for any comedy so then comedy joke bits couldn't really happen and it made the Lego games become very serious when they shouldn't have been serious there we go this looks kind of like there would be something back behind there but there isn't uh, and a serious Lego version of a movie doesn't make a ton of sense uh, and then the audio quality kind of suffered when they copied audio from movies too because they it just didn't sound right all right so the point here is introducing a concept of blue items and mechanics being able to fix blue items. You can use the whip to grab items if you if you do it correctly. Uh, the whip mechanic too only kind of works in Leg Lego Indiana Jones and nothing else. So Indy can build blue items. Interesting. I would have thought that his uh, his pilot friend would have been required to do it. Hmm. So these were things that didn't exist in the previous LEGO games. So every LEGO game tries to add something new and the most of the good things get added. Uh, and the PC versions apparently LEGO Indiana Jones in added the locking up and lagging ability. So, we've got to think to ourselves now, what can we turn down to get rid of that? And it's going to be this, this cycle, I know it is, where I'm going to eventually turn off FXAA, and we'll try it next time on that. And if it's still lagging, then we'll turn off Enhanced Graphics, and if it's still lagging, then we'll... Think about lowering the texture quality, oh, but before we turn off texture quality, I imagine we would turn off shadows, blooms, and depth of field. Depth of field itself might be a good candidate for actually the cause here, but at the end of the day, if it's like any of our previous experiences, it's actually none of those things, and uh, yes, he does. He needs to is needed to fix the plane. Uh, it, it's actually going to be none of those things and, and the game will just always lag regardless of what quality we have and we're not having a unplayable instance of this but the, when it locks up and lags here we get the introduction that Indiana Jones hates snakes but uh, but it is pretty bad so you can also see, since this is one of the early LEGO games, 
that is not a lot of characters. It is actually an amazingly small amount of characters considering this covers six hours of movies. Uh, what in the world was that sound? Wow. I don't know if that was a glitch or if that was the sound they chose. And as we collect the golden chests, we will put together artifacts. And this is, for the early games, about the only time you have a chance to to do any actual Legos in the Lego game. Uh, all episodes are now unlocked. And so if you didn't like the, the first movie for some reason and wanted to skip from that point, uh, you could do that. Two. And I'm not sure if we should bother to show Barrett College right now either. Hmm. I think we probably will just go to Barrett College next time. You can see of the items here, there's there's nothing in the lower center or the lower right. That will come about later. We'll probably find a red brick in each level. I believe that's the way it works here. And then also find 10 challenge bricks and run through all that. And we'll, we'll do that much later after we played all of the games in the story mode. Here we're having another example of if you, it locked up right in the menu. And you can see the gold shininess on just fell apart when it started locking up. So there's something to to the video rendering engine that is messing it up. Uh, it is also worth mentioning that Lego doesn't really sell gold pieces. They had a very collectible minifig made out of gold that they only made like 10,000 of. But you really don't get gold pieces there was a gold brick you could get but not specific things I suppose it wouldn't it wouldn't be too difficult for somebody to make Lego like bricks out of gold uh, if they wanted to but then it wouldn't be official Lego and who knows if it would snap together as tightly and follow the tolerances Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. We'll start back here and probably go to Barnett College and check it out and then jump into the next level. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and comment and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me with YouTube and tells them that my videos are worth watching. Furthermore, if you want to friend or follow me on any social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, Steam, or Battle.net, there's a bunch of links down in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.